Hello guys, in this tutorial we will solve the task and our task is Armstrong number. So we will solve this task by using while loop. So Armstrong number means suppose the ABCD that is the number. Okay. So if it is equal to a n b n c n up to d n then that is what the armstrong number so for example if you take number 153 so we have total three digits it means the logic will be 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube if we have suppose four digit then it will be like 1 raised to 4 plus 5 raised to 4 like that it will be implemented so that power number will be calculated on the basis of number of digits so if we have three digit then it will be cube and if both the sides are equal then it will be armstrong number so that is the logic and now here you understood what exactly armstrong number and this is the program but how it is working why we have written this statement that we will discuss in this presentation then we will see the output in uh, eclipse also so this number it is implemented like that so here each time we are doing calculation in the terms of calculating q so that's why here you observe we have written uh, res variable equal to res plus r cube where the res value is zero why because each time we are calculating here cube and adding we are doing addition so that's why here plus operator and here cube and here for doing this task you should calculate the remainder also for example if you calculate remainder 3 then you can take 3 cube if you calculate then after that remainder will be 5 then you can calculate 5 cube then remainder will be 1 so you can calculate 1 cube so for calculating remainder first we use this statement r equal to number 1 remainder 10 where number 1 is a particular value like 153 so by using this statement n1 percent 10 that is modulus operator we can calculate the remainder that is 3 5 1 and then we will do the cube and then we will add this value to res variable and then in the last step we are calculating the quotient why we are calculating quotient that we will get to know in the logical steps so here the step one so in the coding inside the while loop we have written the three statements so before that we declare the variable n1 equal to n where the n1 value is now 153 okay because we initialize with n variable that is not equals to zero if it is not equal to zero that is the 153 is the value then this three, uh, three statement will be repeated here so r equal to n1 modulus 10 it means that 153 modulus 10 it means that r will calculate the remainder value that is 3 so that 3 you have to use for calculating the cube and assign into res variable where res value is 0 so here the res value will become 27 so up to this it's clear now n1 is n1 divided by 10 what what exactly the value of n1 153 so the output of 153 divided by 10 it means what is the value 15 we are calculating here quotient because what happened we want to get next remainder that is 5 because here the next number is 5 and after that it is 1 so that's why we are doing this process because we want for we want last remainder value then second last and then we want the last number 1 so that the reason we are dividing this number each time by 10 so this is the step 1 logic if you understood step 1 you can understand the remaining steps also so as you know this is our logic and now the updated values of variable like that r r s and n1 so in the next iteration it is working like same and we get the updated value r is 5 because why the n1 value is now 15 you check here so 15 divided by 10 so remainder will be 5 then after that we have to do uh, cube of that 5 so r cube and then we will store into the res variable so that previous value is 27 res plus 5 cube so res value will be updated 152 and next we have to do divide operation and there we will get one value 
then in the step 3 st same process will be there then here we will get the remainder 1 because why n1 value is 1 so remainder will be 1 and then you have to add this value in the result variable that is 153 so now 153 equal to original value so that is Armstrong number and in the last step that is 1 divided by 10 because n1 value is now here 1 so here you will get n1 is 0 so important point is 1 modulus 10 is 1 and 1 divided by 10 is 0 so this is the logic of the program and I hope friend you understood or you got some idea if you not understood little bit maybe you have confusion you have to do it on piece of paper so that you will get the clear idea from this presentation now we will check the output in Eclipse also so here I open the Eclipse friend and I already pasted the coding because this thing we already discussed in the presentation so once again we overlook this n value is 153 so here I have written n1 equal to n why we have written this that also we will see n1 value is 153 this process will continue till the value is here not equals to 0 so these three statement will be repeated in this process and once the res value is 153 then uh, we will get the Armstrong number so here we will take one condition if res value because that is going to be the last 153 value it is exactly equal to n here I am not writing n1 because n1 value is changing here we take the original value n so that's why we have done this initialization so now here we will take the output statement for printing the message So this is my output message and otherwise we will get not Armstrong message. So here your message should be like that. So if this res value is exactly equal to original value we get the Armstrong number. So we check the output here and that's it we are getting suppose I am changing the number here that is not Armstrong number because very few numbers are Armstrong number so we get the not unstrong number so if you have any doubt or any logic you can comment me or I, or I just suggest you you just practice on the paper and then you run the program so I hope you understood this tutorial thank you